Welcome to Management Minute. Today we're going to cover a fairly common question, and that question is, if I have a locally managed firewall, how do I get that configuration into Panorama? And it's a fairly straightforward process. So we have a Panorama here, and a device that currently has a local config. We see we have some locally defined policies, we have locally defined interfaces, virtual routers, virtual wires, all that kind of stuff. The first step is to connect the device to Panorama, and you do that the normal way, entering the Panorama IP address on the Panorama settings on the device tab. Once the device is connected, you can come over here and check under Manage Devices Summary to, to make sure it's connected. And once it is, all we need to do is go to Setup and Import Device Configuration to Panorama. From this drop-down, we're going to be able to select our candidate device. In order for a device to show up in this selection box, the device cannot be a member of a device group, cannot be a member of a template, and it cannot be in a log collector group. So we select our device, and we have a couple of different options here. The template name field allows us to name the template that is created when we import the config. Same thing for the device group name. This is our opportunity to change that name. So I'm going to go ahead and rename these. To data center template, data center DG. This checkbox allows you to decide whether or not you want to import objects from the device's shared context into Panorama's shared context. The recommendation is to uncheck this box. This allows us to keep Panorama shared context from getting overly cluttered as you repeatedly import devices. The last option you have is whether you want the imported rules to be part of the pre-rule base or the post-rule base on Panorama. For the purposes of the example, I'm just going to leave it as pre-rule base. So we click OK. We get a dialog box saying that Panorama was able to reach out to the device and pull in its local running configuration. The next step is to commit to Panorama. This is an important step because Panorama just created a new template and template stack, as well as a new device group for this device. And we can check that here. Once the commit is done, we can come over here to device groups and we see we now have a new data center DG with that 5260 as a member. And the same thing on the template side. We have a template and a template stack named data center with the 5260 being a member of that template stack. So now we're in a situation where we have the same config in Panorama as exists on the local device. The last step of this process is to export or push the device config bundle. What this will do is this will create a device state for the device and push it down to the, to the local device and trigger a local commit. So what a device state is, is a, basically a tarball or a bundle of local running config and Panorama push config. So what Panorama has done is separated out what should be local config from what should be Panorama push config, and we're now going to push that down to the device. So we hit the selection drop down, select our device, and click OK. And we want to choose this push and commit option. Once we click OK, you can see that the device state was transferred to the device successfully and a commit operation was triggered on the device. So we can actually check that by jumping over to the 5260. We can check the task list and we see that a commit has been enqueued and is currently in process. Once that commit is complete, we can come over here and check our policies and see that these policies are all now pushed from Panorama. And if we come over to Panorama under Manage Devices Summary, we see that shared policy is in sync. Now, templates is showing as out of sync, and this, is ha and this happens because when we push that device config bundle down, we don't actually remove the local config from the device things like management IP address, right? We don't want to take the chance of 
something going wrong and the device losing management connectivity. So all we need to do to rectify this, this basically the last step of the process is we're going to push to devices. I'm going to go ahead and edit my selections. And I'm going to push the template settings and I'm going to force those template values. So that way I'm, I'm now using the panorama pushed config for things like management IP or interface IPs. We can switch over to the firewall now. We can check the task list. And we just wait for these two commits to be done. All right, now that our commits are done, we still have all panorama pushed policies. And on the network side, we see that our interfaces are all showing as pushed from panorama, as well as the zones, virtual routers, etc. So this is the way that we would take a previously locally managed firewall and import all that configuration into Panorama. Once you have that configuration in Panorama, in these new device groups that are created per device, at that point you can start moving your configuration around and sharing objects and sharing policies and taking advantage of that, that sharing model that Panorama gives you.